Capricorn. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 21st to the 27th of June 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So let us begin. Capricorn, you get number 67, Wolf Spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. I love that because it's almost like learn from your mistakes. I'm one to do repeat patterns and repeat mistakes and it's turn that knowledge into wisdom. It may also be turn that knowledge into wisdom in a positive way like you've done something and it's actually paid off brilliantly and it's like ah so next time comes around we'll do that way again. So loving that Capricorn. Moontology. You get the full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. So while you're turning that knowledge into wisdom, make sure there's a practical plan that is right there alongside. So love that. So Capricorn, if you didn't watch the quick fire reading in the weekend, I've bought new cards. <laughs> after how many months and um, they're not very bendy so you have to persevere while I just do this shuffle at the start although they are starting to be more bendy I don't know if it's a word I just always say that right Capricorn Let's see what you've got Awesome artwork on them too. Overall, you've got the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Don't be afraid, okay? Hidden fears, but when things are darker and grayer, that moon does shine a clear path. Turn that knowledge into wisdom of where you're heading towards there. I'm a Pisces, I say, don't be afraid of me. This is actually a brilliant energy to have. Opposite of the sun energy during the day, this comes out bright bright as bright can be past energies you've got the ace of swords eight of swords and the five of cups okay so cutting the crap out from the past in the past <laughs> so it's in the past energy so from even further back there okay and going for this brand new honest open beginning finding other ways around things if things aren't there trying to block your way there because there's this emotional loss and grief that you've possibly going through there's only three cups that are in turmoil there the other two are brilliantly lit up over here standing upright other loving energy around you but um, it may have come with having to find a detour or another path towards that energy there Okay, present energies, ten of wands, judgment, and the sun. So ending this burden of where you feel like you have been carrying this load on your shoulders on your own. Keeping an open mind, don't judge others, but don't let them come in and judge you as well. But you can't get much brighter energy than the sun right there. Okay, sense of freedom and release from any energy, from this energy that you've had here. And... Um, happiness and joy and everything falling into place there so loving that brilliant okay and your future energies knight of wands ace of pentacles three of wands so knowing where you want to be heading towards it may be a bit of a rocky ride and a hard hard slog <laughs> to get to that dream and that goal and that vision that you have there but start of a brand new successful beginning here can see things clearly of where you are actually heading towards with that three of wands maybe seeing the situation for what it really is or someone for who they really are given you've got this successful new beginning here you may be seeing things in a better light than what you actually thought turning that knowledge into wisdom as i said in a more positive way but putting that practical plan into place for those dreams <laughs> with mentology so Capricorn, loving it. We will clarify each of these. Right. 
Right, starting with the moon overall. Some hidden fears for the week though. Two of Pentacles, the Fool and Judgment. Ah, so ready to take a leap of faith. You just started to get control of a situation. Get the balance back into play here. And um, keeping that open mind with judgment there. It's in the core of your reading as well. And um, But you might actually be ready to jump in two feet and all and go with something there. But don't forget those dreams. Need a practical plan before you take that risk or that leap of faith there. That may bring some hidden fears around that energy right there. Once you've just started to get control of something there. Past energies, you've got the Ace of Swords with Temperance, Four of Pentacles and the Moon again. Could be dealing with that Pisces or Sagittarius, but doing things in moderation. Hidden fears because there's something you're not wanting to let go of or release just yet. Um, whether it's something or someone from back there in the past. That may be causing the hidden fears of being able to move forward from that, but just not being able to let go. That is, in the, again, in the past, past energy. So um, we come into the Eight of Swords. We'll see what that has. Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, Ace of Cups. Yeah, happiness and stability here. Emotional happiness and stability. Step up and commitment for some of you. Brand new beginning when it comes to love. Could be a marriage proposal, could have been moving in together, maybe been meeting somebody extremely brand new. And it may have been a job that you love or a home that you love back there, but um, it brought you a lot of stability and happiness around that Ten of Cups with it. So then you came to the Five of Cups with the Three of Cups, Justice and the Lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but maybe getting past that emotional loss or grief that you had been through, possibly even further back, and um, being able to success, um, being able to success, being able to celebrate that success, and being able to get past that Five of Cups energy, bringing you a sense of justice, good karma, reward for the effort that you put in to get through that energy. Possibly, again, somebody's significant soulmate twin flame may have helped you through that, may have been on this journey with you, may have been meeting them extremely brand new. Could be dealing with a Libra or Gemini, but um, loving that to clarify. Present energies, you've got the Ten of Wands with the Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups. Yeah, that painful cycle, you've got the two tens, ten of wands, ten of swords. Very painful cycle, um, very burdensome, but walking away, eight of cups, from some sort of emotional attachment, which very well could be that energy there. Bringing those two energies to an end, that cycle to an end. Maybe taking a more direct, honest approach towards something or someone, which is um, bringing in this Eight of Cups energy as well, of leaving something behind that's not working for you. Whether that's personal, whether it's work, whether it's home. To come into judgments with the Five of Cups, Ace of Wands, Three of Wands. Now, I said with judgment before, don't judge others, but don't let them judge you. And with the Five of Cups, you get through that in your own time. But given that the Five of Cups is here clarifying judgment, People may be coming in telling you to move on and get over this loss and grief that you have been going through. Okay, there could be an apology on the cards, whether it's due to be given or received, but you have got that Ace of Wands and again the Three of Wands where you may be seeing something um, in, a different, in a different light, in a clearer light. Okay, for what it really is, whether it's something or someone, because you finish with that Three of Wands at the future energies as well. So yeah and again back to wolf spirit turning whatever this knowledge is into wisdom using it to your advantage there you've got the sun the five of wands wheel of fortune prince of cups yeah there's been this conflict and drama around you whether it involved you or whether you're just sitting on the fence watching it but um, that sun energy, sense of freedom and release from that wheel of fortune pushing you past that kind of energy Okay, it's not needed and again this love here whether you're offering love somebody may be coming in to offer love towards you but ending this conflict and drama that you've been going through so Capricorn future energies you've got the knight of wands 
with the Nine of Wands, Two of Cups and the Magus. Yeah, getting through all these hurdles and obstacles onto solid ground. Again, there's love on this journey, whether you know it or not, but creating a way to get through these hurdles and obstacles and have that clear path forward. Maybe coming through a bit battle scarred, a bit battle weary with what you have been through back here, but um, creating a way now to be able to move forward, turning that knowledge into wisdom with wolf spirit, but also manifesting your, the practical plan for those dreams with the full moon in Taurus. <clears throat> so Capricorn, the Ace of Pentacles, you get the Nine of Cups, Hanged One and the Star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but there's love and emotional happiness right at your fingertips, ready for the taking. Maybe what you're wishing and hoping for, but you're sort of still a bit biding your time, sitting on the fence. It's like, mm, is it too good to be true? But um, no, because it's right there <laughs> in front of you. <laughs> so loving that. And you finish with this three of wands. You can see it clearly in front of you, maybe. <laughs> Love it. King of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, Four of Swords. So yeah, this is a successful outcome here. Getting control of finances, all the success and abundance that's coming in towards you. You can see it clearly, given we're clarifying that three of wands. Okay, but find other ways around things. If you feel like you've come to a stalemate situation, sometimes you might need to look after number one. Do some self-healing, take time out for yourself. Everybody does do that in order to come out with that King of Pentacles success right there. But brilliant. Don't be afraid of those detours along the way if needed. So Capricorn, love that. We will see what the universe has. You get the Death card, Eight of Cups, and the King of Swords. Definitely leaving something behind. You've got the Eight of Cups again with the Death card as well. Could be dealing with the Scorpio, but bye-bye to that past. It's not needed anymore. And riding into this brand new chapter, this brand new beginning. Very level-headed, very clear, clear thinking, very logical. Using your head over your heart with um, whatever you're heading into and towards now. So absolutely love that there. So Capricorn, we will finish with the Star Temple Oracle. And you get number nine, Ecopius the Seer, visionary. I chart the stars, signs and symbols to craft magic gotta love that and you've got that magician down here as well so gotta love that turning that knowledge into wisdom but crafting that way with a practical plan for that dream beautiful so capricorn that's what i have for you for the week i do hope it helped if you click that like and subscribe button down there thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time see ya bye